Hey, what's up guys? Skylord here. Today I am going to be doing part two of the 17-inch MacBook Pro. This video was actually rather random. I wasn't expecting to do this, but I was able to get um, Mac OS X Yosemite installing on the 17-inch uh, MacBook Pro that I had previewed in the last video. And there's the uh, really nice and dented up DVD drive and the plastic right there. So it is, it is indeed not a 15-inch, which as you can see the DVD drives in the metal. But anyway, so basically I went on ahead and I tried every OS on this hard drive and this thumb drive I've already done. I literally, like here's all my installers. Um, let me scoot up in my chair a bit, my bad. If you look here on the screen, as you see, I have a Leopard, I have Yosemite, which I just created a new one. I, I did, this one did not work. I have a Mac OS Sierra installer, but this one is uh, just the uh, is just the uh, Apple one. This is not the uh, uh, unsupported tool one. El Capitan, li Lion, Mountain Lion, uh, Snow Leopard. Now for progress, uh, Leopard did boot. It got to a screen, but it would glitch up and fail. Snow Leopard would get right to the installer and fail. It would just graphic glitch. Lion almost got to its uh, installer once again, but it failed. Same with Mountain Lion and everything else. And I don't have a Mavericks installer, even though I don't have a Mavericks bootable, even though I do have a, uh, even though I obviously do have one right here. But anyway, so for some reason, the only OS I can get to work on this machine, which I really can't complain with it, is just Yosemite. Nothing else works. And with the little fan method here and propping it up on wooden blocks, it's keeping it fairly cool. So anyway, yeah, um, I don't know. It's only Yosemite, which is strange, but. I don't know, because I'd expect Yosemite to really run the internals the worst, because this was the first of the uh, new flat look, and it didn't really run the best on some of these older computers, but I don't know. Well, see you guys in the next clip. There is no way that this worked. Um, I'll probably take the fan off, actually. I don't think it'll really need it much anymore. I'll eventually put a max fan control on this thing. Heck, I might do that now. Where's my external hard drive? Where's that thing? Oh, there you are. Okay. Well, yay! We have an OS on the MacBook Pro now, the 17 inch MacBook Pro at least. Um, anyway, so I do deeply apologize about the uh, weather in the background. Actually, take a look outside. Y'all haven't seen that yet. Oh my god. Well, we have hail outside, so that'll explain that. Holy sh. Okay, um, anyway, that's besides the point. Um, as you can see here, hopefully, y'all don't hear that too much in the background. My bad about that. It's not supposed to happen like that. Anyway, so we're going to clear this out of the way. Okay, clear this out of the way. Well, we now have the MacBook Pro up and running. So we're going to keep it to about this Mac. Yosemite is the only thing that works. Everything else doesn't work. Now, here we go. So this is indeed an early 08 model. I knew it was. I just wanted to show you guys it. There we go. And then here is the one and only beautiful high resolution panel. This thing compared up to the 15 inch models here with the 1440 by 900 display. Even though this display is obviously much larger, it looks so nice. There's the DVD drive, Mac HD. Now I do have the external hard drive on, but as you can see, there's the DVD drive. It's, it's a super drive. So yeah, there's that. And there we go, four gigabytes of RAM. There's that. So anyway, I'm gonna go on ahead over to my um, utilities. Actually, hold on, let me, let me customize, or as I like to call it, fix the OS X install. I could honestly do this off camera, but you guys will see what I do with my OS 10 installed now. Yay. Anyway, so I don't think does this one I thought this one had multi-touch gestures. At least it did on another OS 10 install. I know it did. Um Yeah, I was gonna say, I did not know this. So this is the uh of course this has the classic trackpad, as I have the newer glass trackpad. I never knew that this got the multi-touch gestures. That or it's either maybe it just did and it's not supposed to. Because last I checked, I don't think uh, Apple integrated the uh, multi-touch uh, trackpad gestures and they onto here. Now we're gonna do this as a space. Okay, but as you can see though, I can swipe in between desktops like this. I can swipe up for this. I can pinch in for a launch pad. I can do this for desktop. It's really weird because the 17 inches trackpad's about the same size as the 15 inch one, but I guess it works. But anyway, so, um, yeah, there we go. So enough of me fiddling around with that. I'm going to go on ahead over to my utilities section. I don't have max fan control on there. Okay. I'll get that right quick on here. But anyway, so nothing too much more to this video. I just wanted to say the 17 inch pro has an OS on it. Graphics chip is still messing up occasionally, but it seems your 70 does work on it. But anyway, so yay, I got an OS on this. I'm really happy. But anyway, so hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next video when I will hopefully be getting a new CPU for the Mac Pro. 
or I might be getting logic board repair on this guy. I probably won't be doing this for a while though. But anyway, so hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see y'all later. Peace out. Also, thought I would just throw in the keyboard backlight does work as well. So that looks nice.